me review. <laughs> Hello! So today we are having a look at my latest filled up sketchbook. It has been 22nd of August through 30th of September and I did not expect filling it in so quickly because it is a rather thick and large sketchbook. So yeah, I actually was gonna film a video of like me cover like decorating the front of my sketchbook, like repainting it because I don't really like this cover, but I ended up finishing it before I got to filming it. So yeah, this is a Dale Rowney Simply sketchbook. Let's have a look. So this is, was a little study of an um, underwater picture I found. And I did it because I want to try to get better at doing environments. And also I bought a roll of watercolor paper. So yeah, I enjoy just ripping off a piece and just using it. I think it's a lot of fun. Little random made up poses. <laughs> it's a weird food. I really like this one. Um, I see a little bit of like asymmetry in it, but that's fixable. Bears. Oh, this was, I was gonna make it a habit of like doing more detail, like post studies, not like, not like this one. It's just like, you know, just a little mannequin. But I wanted to try to make more like post studies, more detailed post studies, but I lasted exactly like three pages. <laughs> this was, uh, I found a mother load of colored pencils and I don't even use them. I don't know how to use them. They hurt a lot because you have to like put down a significant amount of pressure, at least with the pencils I have because they're all low quality. But I tried using them and you can see like, the paper is not really taking into them and it's like started rippling and uh just like i just don't understand colored pencils there's so much hustle because like if i try to cover some ground with colored pencils i could do that with watercolors in like three seconds <laughs> you know because like i have to scribble a lot so yeah more just some quick studies of cats <laughs> i really like this one These were really lazy pages. I should have put something on this side, but it's whatever. Oh, this one was at when I found um, charcoal that I forgot about and I was using it because I like charcoal, even though it's so messy, like it looks prints everywhere, but I like how dark it is. Some hand studies. I like drawing hands. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get banned if you too because apparently it's hate sign now. With some ink. Also, I was complaining before that I make heads too big, but now I feel like I'm making too small because I try to be conscious about that. Yeah, because like it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I guess it's normal, but it just looks small. I really like this one though. So yeah, I feel like I screwed up on the perspective and that's why I never finished it. That was me trying to <laughs> think about perspective, but I obviously gave up. I like this one. Oh, that was another thing I was gonna do. So I started this sketchbook from this one, from this drawing. And I started it from the like random place in my sketchbook because I was gonna film the filling up the first page in my sketchbook, but I never got into it either. So I was gonna do the um, Warframe spreads in my sketchbooks. But again, I love Warframe, but I kind of gave up on the project for some reason, but I did two spreads and I really want to do another one. But uh, yeah, I just, I always decide that I'm going to do some projects and then I never end up doing them. That's why I don't announce them because I'm going to look like a dumb dumb. But yeah, um, if you don't play Warframe, but you play other games, why not? Try Warframe, it's free to play and it's amazing. Yeah, this is Wisp. And the steering. Oh, this one is something I've been, I have in mind for a long time. I actually have a couple shots on my Instagram. I think I did a painting. It was like, it was even before I started playing Warframe it, because my boyfriend been playing it for a long time. So he was playing and I was just sitting around with him and I was doodling. So I came up with this like helmet design and then it kind of 
transformed into this kind of like frame design that I work on on and off. But I really like the uh, the helmet idea. But yeah, uh, I really like how the like how painterly the crystals on the arms turned out. So yeah, I've been working on this design for a little bit. It's not necessarily going anywhere. I swear I'm not a furry. <laughs> oh, it was me trying to make like a some kind of fashion illustration inspired by a little like newts. Because I saw some outside. My dogs tried to eat them, but it got away luckily. Um, somebody told me that this kind of newts look like was really bright tails. Um, apparently, I don't know if it's true, if it's just like an urban legend, I should probably fact check it, but somebody was telling me that um, cats and dogs can get, get high off of them, like if they eat them, like if they have some kind of, like some kind of psychedelic properties to them, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> but that was told, so I think it's funny. So yeah, I tried to make um, kind of like an outfit based on it. I tried to go like business casual, but I don't know. Oh, I was trying to draw like little cues. What are they called? Jackalopes? <laughs> Oil pastels are probably the art supply that confuses me even more than colored pencils. Um, I just don't understand it. And a lot of people say that like you should use some kind of like oil on top and make them look like oil paints. But I don't necessarily want to use oil in my sketchbooks because it's just gonna get greasy everywhere. But I don't understand oil pastels. They just seem like I don't know. I just don't get them. <laughs> I was just a little some some. That was the first like when I first started getting into lining things with a brush, um, like before inked over. Oh yeah, this is. <laughs> if you watched my last sketchbook tour, I complained a lot about how my roses look like cabbages. And I took time and I tried to like, figure out how to draw, even though they're very much stylized, I tried to figure out how to draw like tattoo flash style roses. And they turned out okay for a while, but after that, whenever I would try those, they would come out like cabbages. I'm like, why can't I just, like, why cannot I grasp on how to draw nice roses? And this one was me trying to figure out how to draw this tattoo stylus peony, and I think it turned out cool. Yeah, and I was like so happy, and because it turned out fun that one day, like both peonies and the roses, and I was like, yeah, I was like on such an like, art high for a little while, and I was like, yeah, like I can do it, and then just like and then just stopped turning out. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Just doodles. <laughs> So I bought these sweatpants on sale. I bought them for like $2. I was very happy, but they did not have my size. So I bought a size bigger and I figured that they had drawstring because I saw some ribbons like hanging off it. So I figured they had the drawstring and I didn't check. And I brought them home, put them on and I tried to tie them off and they had freaking fake drawstrings. It was like stitched in the front and didn't run through the whole like waistband. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck does it? Like there are like fake pockets in women's clothes, but like who the fuck makes fake drawstring? Why? I was very upset and yeah. <laughs> Just feels. This guy looks so weird. Looks like such a creep. I don't know. Oh, this one was I when I bought like a three dollar set of flat brushes, so I started. Just I like I like flat brushes. They're fun. Yeah, I was trying to figure out the colored pencils again and just not working out. This one was a, a little thumbnail like this for a video, I think. They have flat brushes. I love flat brushes, they are so much fun. On this one, it was the first try, but then I kind of fucked up on the hair because it just looks chaotic. So I did it again. And even though it didn't turn out necessarily how I wanted it to look, but I think it turned out better than the previous attempt. Oh, this is when I was like discovering my love for lining things with the, with the brush. Even though I wish the brush that I used here had worked. 
as nicely as it used to because for some reason I don't know if I was like too rough like cleaning it or something but it got all wispy and like, I don't know how to explain it I tried fixing it um but it's just not coming together to a point anymore it's like all worn in I think it was just like I was too rough with it oh yeah I was trying to do the roses again <laughs> I really like this one. I really don't like this one. Really like this one. <laughs> I'm almost ready to I'm gonna link it somewhere. And this is the result. So this one was like a few days while I only listened to Arctic Monkeys 505. I don't really, I don't necessarily listen to music a lot because it makes me feel things. <laughs> I'm an extremely anxious person, so I try to avoid thinking about things that make me anxious, but I can't necessarily change them or fix them. Because then it's just like it's a whole it's a whole story. Not necessarily it's a whole different situation. Like I go different dimensions when I do this. And um, yeah, so my way of coping, which is most likely not healthy, but my way of coping with things is escapism. It's not Try not to think about things that bother you, which is unhealthy. But I have no way to fix the things that bother me. Oh no, I'm sad. <laughs> you I really like how this smell turned out on this one. I really like how watercolors go on this paper. You know, that's not the best paper for watercolors because it's very thin and it's kind of porous. But I really like how it turns out on it. Like somehow, in a way, when you lay down watercolor on this paper, it almost behaves like ink wash, so like dries down flatter than it would on watercolor paper. So I like that aspect of this paper, but I don't know like it really makes it behave in that way. Yeah, this one was more of a thing that I had in the vision, so I redid it and it turned out pretty nice. So I'm for another video as well. It's almost the first attempt when my camera stopped recording, I was pissed. But then I did it again and it turned out nicer because I did I do kinda like it better without the little face picking out. You know. Because I do think that like if I do decide to print out the cards and make them like a deck of cards, then the face wouldn't necessarily read too much on small scale or from far away. Oh, this, <laughs> this is me trying to do more environmental drawings, but because I get very intimidated working on a larger scale, I decided to make it a little tiny one. Some birds. I really wanted to draw a Doberman picture because I think they're cute. Have you ever seen Doberman without their, like, when they have, when they still have their full ears? Because, like, this shape of ear, the, the really pointy ones is the result of the ear clipping. But uh, when they don't have their ears clipped, they kind of like hang down, kind of like, um, like Labradors, I guess. And, uh, it's the most normal thing ever. I am. I don't support, you know, like dog ears and tail clipping because I just don't think it's necessary. Even though it like gives it gives dogs that like signature a look, so I don't think it's necessary. I think it's cool. This is my hand. Oh, that was me trying to learn how to draw knees because knees and feet are hard to draw. And this one was found a picture of some goth girl on Tumblr. Oh, that was me trying to draw. I um, that was me trying to draw myself because um, I had my laptop open and I was off and it has very glossy screen, so I could see myself. And I tried to draw it, and um, I've been trying to try and draw what I see and not what I think I see. Because I'm very strong on like symbol drawings and it's not good it's not a good way to progress I have to try and draw what I see and not what I think things look like and was again I really struggle I struggle for shortening a lot feet I struggle with drawing feet feet are hard yeah I, I try but it's not working out but I feel so weird <laughs> <laughs> they try to find like feet picture references because my search history then looks like a complete food fetishist. 
with me trying to figure out how like the shoulder goes again because I find shoulders it's because like the range of movement of shoulders is so is so like wide because you know like with the with the elbow you can go like from here to like here and that's about it really with the knee you can go like from like here to here and like they ha have only like one range of motion but with the shoulder it not only like goes like this is the shoulder this is the body it not only goes like from up to down but it also goes it also rotates and it also goes like from front to back so yeah i just think the shoulders are hard to figure out like i can do it i can define the reference pictures but i do try to understand so i can grasp on shoulder movements without reference pictures so you can't always find reference picture for the exact pose you have in mind so i tried to figure it out but it doesn't always work out <laughs> so but yeah it was a very rambly video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did leave a like subscribe and i'll see you next time bye